I am uh, Dr. Sudhindran, um, Head of Transplant Surgery in Amrita Hospital, Cochin. Transplant surgery um, as it is in India has actually lagged behind the rest of the world for a long time. For example, the first transplant done in States in 1967, uh, which was done in, in India in 1998-2000 and almost 40 years later. And it never became a regular pro procedure for a long time even after that. So perhaps it was by 2000 that uh, Delhi took a lead in doing some of the transplants. Subsequently, it has not uh, picked up in other parts of the country. So we in Kerala did the first transplant in 2004. Um, after that, it has been a slow start for some time. But then since 2008 onwards, which is much more regular. Um, and uh, although it started in Amrita, now other centers have also picked up. A uh, lot of centers and few centers in Cochin and uh, two, three centers spread over Kerala in the south and the north. And uh, definitely Kerala has become um, uh, one of the uh, top states in the country uh, for doing transplants as a whole, transplants in general. Uh, this is specifically uh, liver transplants, pancreas transplants and small bowel transplants. So Amrita uh, was the first hospital to do the liver transplant in 2004. That was actually, in fact, the first multi-organ cadaveric retrieval in the state. Uh, and we were actually probably uh, the, the uh, fifth or sixth in the country. Um, subsequently, uh, unfortunately, uh, although the literacy rate is high, the cadaveric donation rate was not. Uh, so as in the rest of the country, we were predominantly dependent on live donors, even for livers. So what Amrita has done in the interim is actually do a lot of um, uh, promotion in terms of awareness for organ donation uh, all over the state and uh, our team, all the team has been going regularly um, and doing as much as possible to promote organ donation and uh, luckily the government also has helped with us and uh, since 2012 there has been a rapid increase in uh, cadaveric organ donation in Kerala uh, where we were lagging behind in the rest of the country from 2000, in the last year, we were actually the, the second uh, in the country after Tamil Nadu for organ donation. In fact, we are the first for, if you look at the number of donors per million population, we were actually the first state. Um, I think liver transplant, we have more or less, uh, we, have, we have settled now and our results are probably as good as the uh, rest of the country, the rest of the world, in fact. Uh, we are also doing pancreas transplants. This is usually pancreas along with kidney as a simultaneous pancreas kidney transplants. Now, livers, the advantage is that we can have live donors, so the numbers are unlimited because we can have a lot of live donors. Unfortunately, pancreas is, uh, because it's predominantly from cadaveric donors, our numbers are limited. Uh, but we are doing a few numbers, we have done five or six and they're doing well. Now, the other, we are getting onto other organs like the small intestine and there we are finding a little bit of difficulty. Now, the other problem that we faced now is the cadaveric organ donation rate, where we're actually going steeply up in the last three, four months, it has completely virtually stopped. Future expansion, um, one thing that India has been lacking is the basic research and that is something we're really looking forward to doing uh, in Amrita, uh, particularly with uh, in collaboration with the nanotechnology and stem cell uh, work that's going on there. We've already started some work on hepatocyte stem cells and management and acute liver failures. So that is something which we're really looking forward to. Um, other things is things like biodegradable stents, etc., which can be used in a transplant scenario, which are actually maybe quite useful. Um, the other thing that we are trying to look at is um, how we can make the technique of donation a little bit more easier for the donors, for the liver donors, because kidney donors now laparoscopic technique is very common. So we would like to do bring that uh, um, laparoscopic and robotic. Uh, technique for live, live liver donation. That is also another thing that we are looking forward to.